Hey, pre-notification gang. Turn 29. Thanks to the resub thick. There's some swag. And Garrett. And Jenna. And Kopi. Yep, getting close to 30 now. There's a Risa Balkan Trav. Humza, Epinephrine, Natalie, Wit, and AK. And Milk. <clears throat> Tier 1 Devious. Thanks for some Woods, Midnight, Brash, Skin, Pirate, Draco, and Stupidity. Oh yeah, the Lizzo stuff. We'll talk about that too. I forgot about that. Thanks for some Noah, Moto, and the Risa Okami, and Chatty. And the Tier 1 Bison. Any plans to play Baldur's Gate 3? Really considering it. I don't know. Most of my friends seem to think that I won't enjoy it. But I still think I'll give it a try. I think it's worth at least giving it a whirl. Thanks to 10 gifts of Pikachu. Appreciate it. And tier 1 Danny. And the gifts of Chop. And tier 1 Church. The resub Robert and the five gift subs Bison. The resub Nine Star and Carl. Did you hear Mattel is hiring a tester? What what is it what is it what does that mean? And tier 1 Dylan, the Risa, Liana, Espresso, Model, and Spurge, and the Bits Numb. Did not numb. Things a bit dead eye. We give Sub Sovereign. Did you hear the actor from Holes won a Mortal Kombat 11 tournament? No, that's fucking awesome though. Thanks to tier 1. Pre Malone and the Risa Morisco, Sam, Five Star, and Kismet. It's not a black tank top, it's a gray one. It just looks black on camera. Did you see some crypto investigators say they traced a recent shitcoin rug pull back to Sam Bankman Freed? I didn't read the story, but I saw the headlines. And no, I didn't see that milk. Thanks to the Prime Bunga and the Resub Bell and gifts of Dylan and Tier 1 Swag. Yeah, we'll talk about the Lizzo stuff after we go over the uh, new Twitch stuff. Thanks to Risa, Tiffy, Gallic, Swab, Nacho, and the, Jesus, the Big Bits Dong. Thank you for that. Thanks to Tier 1 Sovereign, and I hope you're doing, I hope you're doing well, Tweak. Hope everything's alright. Is your sub Lord? I 
Will you moist meter talk to me? Yep. I will. I just haven't had a chance to see it this week, but I will. I really want to watch it. Heard nothing but good things, so definitely going to watch it. There's a resub Orbit, Lemon, Rasta, CJ, and Momo. Do you enjoy consuming lobster from time to time? Uh, not really. I've only had lobster a couple of times and I didn't really like it very much. Mattel is apparently hiring a chief Uno player for their new Uno game, and they said they'll pay you 17 k a month for the job. To be an Uno tester? Like, just to be an Uno tester? Because that's quite a deal. Yeah. Mattel offers 17 k a month to chief Uno player. Wow. Hey, that's a good deal. That is a great deal. And three sub Sopo, exclamation point, rhyming in the five gift subs, lime. And three sub Trav and Rose. I know that anime, but I haven't watched it, Noah. And I played a little Divinity too, not a ton. He's a tier one guy. What qualifies as a chief Uno player? Because they don't have competitions, do they? Salary doesn't come easily, as the chief Uno player will be playing Uno Quattro for four hours every day for four days every week. What the fuck? Wait, that's a crazy deal. You don't even necessarily have to be good. You just have to have time. Four hours a day, four days a week? What the? Oh my lord. Hey, Godspeed to whoever gets this position. Hopefully it's one of you guys in chat. You gotta at least try for this. This is an incredible deal. He's a tier one team man, the prime cabbie, the reason of ACOG, Moffrey, and Lemon. The bits syrup. It's only for a month though, is it? Let me see. Oh, for a period of four weeks. Title's deceptive then, because it says 17k a month. So I thought this would be like, I don't know, payment period every month or some shit, I don't know. So for a month you can get 17k. Still a good deal. That'll work though. Might as well. Yeah, I mean, it's a great deal for just playing Uno for a month. Thanks to the bits, these, and butter. And the resub, Kraken, Oni, Grand, and Tier 1, Paramaniac, and Tier 1, Chop Chop. They give some bread, Nate, and the resub, Aura, and Singmundo. You have a good birthday? Yeah, I did. I really did. I went to the Post Malone concert last night. Legitimately the best concert I've ever been to. That performance was fucking unreal. 
absolutely unreal. And then we played some beer pong and hung out a little bit after. It was a lot of fun. He is disgusting at beer pong. Actually, probably the best player I've ever played at the table. I even went off to an insane start. Immediate fire, three for three. Then I missed, and he didn't. He just kept going. Did he see your Insta DM? Yeah, so I missed his for like a month, and then I replied, and then he didn't respond for a month, so I thought I blew it. But it turns out he just doesn't use Instagram either. So yeah, we were talking for a little bit. And then he was playing a show here in Tampa. We met up. Got a little wacky at the beer pong table, hung out. It was fun. That's like my big celebrity fangirl moment. Easy tier one, Robert. Thanks to the resub Gatsby, Enzo, Jim, Elise, Pugs, Shake, Stark, Cosmic, and the Prime Star. And the resub Mr. T, and the resub Peppersty, and Archive. Going to be a video? No, none of that will be. But he said he'd be up to come back down after tour and do some goofy shit. So maybe then. Did he show you the one ring card? He did. He didn't have it with him, but he showed us the video when he bought it. Fucking crazy. I saw that got uh, posted online today. We got like the early access to it. I was fucking drooling when he brought up the video. Yeah, he bought the one ring. Two mil, right? Yep, two milli. For the one ring. We asked him what he was going to do with it, and he said he's going to use it as a token. So he's literally going to use it for play, which is such a power move. Thanks, Erisab, Ebian, Sepia, Swan, Vongola, and Kaneki. In Geo. Bro got the IRL one piece. Pretty much, man, yeah. It looks incredible. You gonna play Payday 3 beta? I might, if I get access to it, or if it's an open beta. Thanks for your Geo. Yeah, we talked about the Street Fighter nude tournament. Things <clears throat> in tier one, Annie. You have any photos? Yeah, a couple. I posted on Instagram. Everything you've ever heard about Post Malone doesn't even do him justice. That is actually probably one of the nicest people, not even just celebrity, that I've ever met. Like, it's not like he was just nice to me or my team or anything. Literally every single human being that was even in the vicinity, Post went out of his way to go up to and just have a full-blown conversation with him, make him feel like part of the family. That guy is unreal how sweet he is. Thanks for the 10 gift subs, Nico. Appreciate that. And the resub, Jared. Hey, Jared. Thank you, man. 
Thanks, recent farts. Super excited for our project. You were sounding great. Yeah, turn turned 29. So we're, we're getting pretty close to 30. I think it's the Risa Majora. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go over all the wacky stuff that's happened over the last forty eight hours. Cause uh, there's been quite a bit. I think it's resub, Chris. Oh, I'm sorry, Girthy. I just didn't read it. Yeah, you're talking about Kosa. We talked about that a couple days ago. Well, closer to like a week ago now. I've been following it. Thanks for resub, Cody. That garbage pops up every couple of years now with them trying to slide some nefarious censorship and surveillance garbage onto the internet. Thanks for resub, Nate. Thanks for the bits, Thomas. We should blueberry. Yeah, so Twitch banned all the CSGO skin gambling sites, I believe, across the board. So this is all of those things where you'd go and do, like, crash gambling or whatever with skins. Which is a huge revenue source for not only, like, sponsored streamers, but the site owners. Many of you probably remember CSGO Lotto. One of the most nefarious scams in internet history. It was started by YouTubers and streamers. Big scam, completely fraudulent, but that's not like that was the only one of its kind. I don't even know why I'm explaining the lore of CSGO gambling sites. I'm sure all of you know them. It's huge. It's an absolutely massive secondary market outside of the game. And now Twitch has said, we're putting the kibosh on it. Welcome to the Shadow Realm. So the article even mentions it here. It's not just content creators and shit that get sponsored by the CSGO skin gambling sites. G2. The G2 is sponsored by one called CSGO Roll. So a lot of people, including us, were wondering what happens to them now. They won't be able to be on stream because they're going to have CSGO Roll being on their, their shit. So what happens to them? They're going to have to lose that partnership, right? They'd have to, I think. Is there sub Armada, Rick, Alshion, Akio, Superhero in the Prime, Ginny, and Doge? In the bits, Tori. So, is it good or bad in your opinion? Oh, I think it's good. But you're not going to see me crying any tears over this getting banned. Do you know how many people lose their ass on this shit? And they're usually very young. It's CSGO gambling, so skins. It's not. The argument people make is it's not, like, real money. It's not real gambling because it's skins, but it's very much a problem. Most of the people that engage is very young. And a lot of them are completely fraudulent, like CSGO Lotto, which isn't a unique case. So, yeah, I think that's a good thing. I'm not upset about that. There's no such thing as, like, a, a real, <laughs> authentic CSGO gambling service. It's all just started by shady people. So yeah, I don't really care that it gets banned. I think that'll end up helping quite a lot of people that don't realize how shady that whole thing is. He's a tier one Viridian in the five gift subs. Iridescent. There's some Waluigi. It's not just this, though. They also banned... I think it was two other... Slots on Twitch. Blaze and Gamdom or something. 
I can't remember. So that feels more performative than this. This feels like they actually made this decision because they recognized a problem, perhaps, with so many CSGO gambling services being readily available to a very young audience. Whereas the slots seems a little more performative. It seems like they're just banning that because they don't profit directly. Because they still have DraftKings and crypto gambling sponsors directly baked into Twitch ads. So that one feels a little weird. But overall, it's not like a bad thing or anything that they did that. Thanks for 10 gift subs, RTM. I appreciate that. And the 5 Geo. And tier one rod. Three sub Sam. I mean, gambling has actual laws in these in, laws in place, while these sites don't. Oh, for sure. Like I said, this feels like they actually legitimately recognized the problem and took action. Hundred percent. It's just the slot stuff seems a little bit more like a performative piece because if they really cared, I don't think they'd be peddling crypto gambling mobile apps in uh, like twitch ads but again it's still a good thing that they did definitely not a bad thing you're a dick for what you said about electric shock therapy what <laughs> what do you what electric shock therapy my man, do you know how misused electroconvulsive treatment was? ECTs were legitimately a form of torture for a while. They used to do the shock the gay away. No, man, electric shock therapy isn't exactly the best thing we've ever invented. There is practical application, which is why I said... It has a history of being misused. Because it has. I understand that it actually does, to a certain extent, work for things like Mania. And a couple of others that I'm blanking on. Thanks, Duncan. Thanks, we have Lego, Shibon, Celery, and Marina, and Crucial. A couple others I'm blanking on, AK, I have no fucking idea. Well, yeah, the main one I remember is Mania, because that one's pretty well documented that ECT treatment does actually have a positive effect on it. The other ones I don't remember. But what's the gotcha? <laughs> that, that, you just defined what I said. About as much of a treatment as meth is for sleep. Yep. You're just quoting the video now. Yep. Uh, trying to shock the gay away, man. And, and a history of, like, shocking autistic people. Yeah, not exactly treatment. Oh, I don't... What, what, what battle are you fighting right now? Who are you arguing with? Because it's not me. You made up someone in your head that you're fighting with, Ryan. I, I don't know who it is. But I hope whoever you're arguing with, I hope they're getting their comeuppance right now. With the, the points you're making. Planning any new tattoos? I want more, I just don't know what yet. But at some point, yeah. Things you resub Luna, Jorge, Steel, Borg, Snake, and the gift sub drag.
the resub robot. You hear that Netflix is making an anime adaptation of Dark Souls? Yeah. I'm not optimistic, but I did hear. Thanks to the bits Girth and Jack. <clears throat> oh, I think Jack's going in on it. I think he's doing great work. It's been making me laugh. And I think he's making good points. Thanks to the bits Girth. The resub goddess. Do you hear that the main composer from Soft left to become a freelancer? Yeah. I saw. I'm sure he'll do very well for himself. It's always just sad to see somebody leave FromSoft, though. I don't know why, but I've really built them up in my head as some kind of, like, tight-knit family. She? Was it a she? I'm sorry. My bad. Probably you addressed this topic already. What do you think a good solution for reaction streamers would be? As a content creator, illustration often getting content reposted is not great. Whole reaction debacle seems to be a step back on the consent about reposting content or art. I actually think Ludwig's stance on it was the most interesting. Having, and I don't know how this would work, but having a system in place where the content creator has a way of claiming reaction videos to make the money from it, I think is a pretty interesting solution. I, I don't know how exactly that would ever be implemented, but I do think that's a very interesting solution that I think could be helpful. Because it's going to be a very difficult thing to actually put into practice. But, on the whole, I think that is a very good idea. Is it Prime Approximate and Resub Store? Resub Jamal. How does the person reacting make money if their whole channel is based on reactions? Do something else. Why do you stop doing react content? I, I just, I didn't enjoy doing it anymore. And I actually really did take a lot of the conversation to heart. Like, I do think there's a lot of good points made against it that I completely agree with. So usually the only things that I'll watch on stream react to, I guess, is game trailers or movie trailers or a news broadcast. Occasionally, if there's like a breaking story that I want to get the gist of, I'll watch like the first minute or two of a, of a piece to get the gist and then go back to it later. But on the whole, it's mainly just trailers and news. Resub Ender. Why not? It was fun watching you talk about and make jokes about the videos. Yeah, but it's not like even when I got permission to watch them, it still just didn't. I don't know. It didn't feel right. Like I could still make jokes and talk about it in a normal video after the fact, without watching the entire person's stream or video on stream. Even though I never re-uploaded a whole piece of content, still just didn't feel right to do that. So I stopped. It's just that simple. Just a personal preference thing. 
And that's how I felt about it. So I just haven't done it anymore. There's a prime claw in the resub cov. And the tin gift subs, T man. <laughs> Thanks, T man. I, I just don't think that's the norm. I think those are outliers. So channels like Ordinary Sausage and Gunner and stuff, like, a React video is not guaranteed to blow up a channel or anything. Sometimes you could definitely point to some analytics that show that more eyes went to it and maybe help the channel grow. I, I have no doubt that's the case, as is an example like Ordinary Sausage or some of the other channels people have been talking about on Twitter. But, I mean, that's not exactly, like, the optimal way of doing business, right? You shouldn't just roll the dice and hope that your reaction is the one that blows up the channel as opposed to just cannibalizes from it. So it's, I'm sure there are plenty of channels, even aside from the ones that are listed that benefited, but again, it's a, I, I don't personally like doing it anymore, so I don't do the reacts or anything. Again, it's just trailers and news I, my, yeah, my channel is an example of one that got its start from a React video. Yeah, it, it happens, but it's it's an outlier, not the norm. Thanks to Tin Give Sub Shadow and the Resub Overlord Arthi Rise. Chiz in psych to It doesn't hurt a channel, though. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily hurt a channel or anything, though. I, I Not all the time. No. But even still, it, there ideally would be a system in place where the creator could claim the video and make the revenue from it. Like I, like I said, I think Ludwig's solution was the most interesting. One that I don't think will ever happen. It's not an easy thing to implement, but in an ideal world. It absolutely does. Well, it can absolutely cannibalize from it, but you're not going to see like when someone reacts to a video, all of a sudden it goes like this and then that, I think is what he's talking about. He was referencing an analytics uh, Twitter post saying like, show me... Show me the bump, or maybe it was the inverse, I'm forgetting. Show me the drop, I can't remember. Something like that. That's what he was referencing, not just talking about the cannibalization of impressions or eyes or anything like that. Do I care if people react to my content? No, not at all. But I'm in a very different position than most people. I'm in a very fortunate position. So I have the luxury of not really giving a shit. Is there some Rachel Vin break Zio in the Prime Chippy? I haven't seen that one, Mac. Darman added a fight scene to one of his videos and it's kind of messed up. It's fucking wild. He's breaking into new territory. <clears throat> oh, thanks to the Prime oxidized. Yeah, we can talk about Lizzo now before I forget. 
I was reading up on it a little bit. So I think I've got most of the details on it, I, I think. I think it's tier one, John. So basically, she's now being sued by former dancers who allege that she was miserable behind the scenes. Very aggressive, oftentimes demeaning them. I believe one of the quotes was... or. I'm going to use the word quote here loosely because I'm paraphrasing, but one of the accounts said that she had made kind of like a passive threat about a dancer who was gaining weight, saying that, you know, people or people in this industry that gain weight get fired or something to that effect. So she would basically just berate and harass her team, which is crazy because she's always preached the exact opposite. And apparently she even had an entire verse in one of her songs that people are floating around and dunking on her for where she's like talking and referencing a lawsuit and how she doesn't care. So all of it's pretty, pretty weird. Pretty not good. Thanks, the resub. Nip, slip, teary, and Kara. And Sean. Always got bad vibes from her. I am not super familiar with her. I've always heard her, like, preach positive things but aside from that i wasn't overly familiar with her work but this seems so often be to be the case people that try and put up this only positivity persona tend to be the worst people behind the scenes like the one that always pops into my head is ellen so it really does feel like they compensate for being assholes Assuming all of this is accurate, this is still one side of the story, but it, it, it seems pretty thorough and pretty deep. Is it resub cool in the prime woo? Yeah, true arrow. He's a tier one widowed. James Corden is a sinister being. Yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> But I wouldn't argue that he put up a positive persona. He had carpool karaoke, which is very close to just terrorism. So it's not like it's surprising to learn that he's an insufferable asshole behind the scenes. Lizzo allegedly made her employees eat bananas out of a vagina. Well, can't say I saw that report. But that is an interesting one. There are more essay allegations, too. Like, even within the last few hours since I last looked. It, 
maybe I guess it's possible. There, there's been a flood of information coming out about awful things Lizzo has said and done. Let me resub Dave. She also had her dancers perform with bananas in their vagina as punishment. This feels like it's fraternity hazing. What are you talking about? I'm going to look that up. I don't believe it. Now it just feels like we're making shit up to see what'll work. Like, what'll people believe? That sounds incomprehensible. She made us eat bananas out of sex workers' vaginas. Right now, the only place reporting on that is... Yahoo News New Zealand and then a couple of other pages that copy and pasted their statement oh never mind I, I, I see what went wrong now they're I see TMZ also talked about it I had it sorted improperly She asked the host about the banana sex show where patrons eat bananas out of sex performers' vaginas. That's what I want to do. I need my potassium. Hmm. Okay. That can't be real. I guess it is. Uh, there's a few sources here. It seems like she's facing a lawsuit because of this as well. It was in 2019. It was a banana sex show. Is there a blanket YOLO? Nicole and the Prime Vera and the Five Gifts of Scrim. There's some stuffle. Mm. There's some court documents you can read. It's all in there. Yikes. Oof. What time's the Rocket League tournament tomorrow? We play at 2 EST, I believe. Cancel culture has her by the ass. Man, I am so tired of that word having no meaning. It's not cancel culture. She's literally being sued. And people are talking about it and making fun of her for it. Like she's in a, like an actual lawsuit. This isn't just like they dug up some tweets from the past. This is a whole... The whole kitten caboodle's worth of lawsuits heading her way. I am very curious to see how she defends it. I want to know her side of the story. Because like I said, there is a lot here. No, she has not responded yet. Not to my knowledge. I think it's tier one hurricane. When's the next God Slap drop? August 9th. So next week. I think we get some digital, or the bits digital. And there's some cheese.
And your B day tomorrow too? No, man. It's just, just today. Not sure, Arrow. No, I don't think she's going to speak on it, to be honest. Not not in an actual legal matter. Her team will release a boilerplate statement about the rumors and their disappointment with all of the lies from former co-workers. And then they'll handle it behind the scenes until it makes it to court and then everything becomes public. That's my guess. I don't think she's going to say or do anything. Not for something as high profile as this. There's some Pug, Remorse, Mini, Billy, Minecraft, and the Prime Young. There's some Sweetie. Her fans are already doing mental gymnastics to justify her behavior. Can't say I've seen any of that. It's not, like, surprising to hear, but I haven't seen it, so can't really speak on it. The resub prismatic Nate and Eric. This is about Lizzo. This is resub Loy. You ever heard of Duke's Barbecue? The sauce? Did you see people are mad that Gal Gadot is returning as Wonder Woman? Yeah. I don't know if it's mad so much as confused, since they're rebooting the DCU and that was their big excuse for, like, canning Henry Cavill and all that. Cavill and all that. Seems weird that they'd keep Gal Gadot... If they wanted to reboot everything. Especially since Wonder Woman 1984 was disastrous. Is it tier 2 Lucky Chuck and the Risa Dog and Loy? A whole lot digital. Check the Wonder Woman 1984 box office. It went to streaming services. On, do they have a box office for it? Uh, according to this, budget 200 mil, box office 170. Oh, it did both? Oh. It was during COVID, to be fair. Yeah, I'm not even speaking on it being a flop or anything in terms of, like, financials. I just mean the movie sucked. It was very bad. To date, it's probably Pedro Pascal's worst role. And it's not even his fault. That shit was just terrible. First Wonder Woman was very good. I like the first Wonder Woman. 1984 was very bad, though. There's a resub sky, Monstrum, Twisted, Stovall, and Strafey. Turn 29. There's a tin gift subs, Beaches. Do you think they should charge less for digital game copies compared to physical? Yeah, they used to. 
and then they just stopped because they realized they didn't have to anymore. It used to be cheaper to buy digital than physical, and their whole thing was physical needs to be more expensive because there's an actual manufacturing cost. Digital is cheaper because we can just put it up. But now they, they don't do that anymore. As the bits met, the resub eye roll and give sub slapper and chatter. And intertwined. I'm a physical guy, although I did like doing digital on the 360. I used to think getting physical things in the modern age was dumb. I really did. Because I was like, just get digital. It's easier. Nothing goes to waste or anything. It's instantaneous. No trips, no hassle. But now, after everything they keep doing, with like either DRM making the performance worse, or just outright like getting rid of things at certain points, it makes so much sense just to get physical at this point. Because at least then you actually get the product you paid for, whereas right now you just kind of get like an admission ticket that can be revoked at any time. Thanks, tier one flabby. And you won't get your money back. Yeah, exactly. Things are resub warp. And the prime tactics. You see the last, did you see that the last hope was delisted from the Nintendo eShop? <laughs> yeah, I did. Another example why owning physical is so important. They took away the last hope. <sighs> Sad. Rest in peace. The last hope is the last of us bootleg game we played from the Nintendo eShop a couple weeks ago. This one. Oh, I don't know what I was expecting with that search. This one. It's been delisted. But at least we still got to experience it. Still got to play it. Dankin said you owe him 20 bucks. Oh, I actually do legitimately still owe him that money. I never paid him. <laughs> Get scammed, idiot. Yeah, I totally forgot. Thanks to the Prime, Mela, and the resub gym leader. Deka and the gift sub dog. In the prime lucky. We're going to talk about Billy Mitchell. We can talk a little bit. About, we, we can talk a little bit about Billy Mitchell. He's catching more L's. He <laughs> did so good. It's so fucking good. Carl's got some updates. And it actually goes even beyond Carl's most recent update too. So even after this, apparently, 
Billy Mitchell has been copyright striking, I think it was, content that covered his deposition, which he doesn't have the rights to. But anyone that was posting his deposition got, I think, shut down, I believe. Which he can't do. He, he literally can't do that. Yep, silly Mitchell at it again, baby. Billy Mitchell needs to grow up. What do you mean, man? This is the video game player of the century. He's been grown. What you're seeing is a man. A man's man. A man who's not afraid to lose forever. Endlessly. It's so good. It's so good. It's so fucking good. <laughs> I'm surprised he's not suing you for stealing his title of, gre of greatest video game player. Well, I didn't. I didn't steal his exact title. I was crowned a different champion. I'm legitimately surprised he hasn't tried suing me in general. I am shocked. There's going to be some Nightfall, Pet Dog in the Prime, Crest, Chicken, and Willy. Not because I did anything wrong, but just because I make fun of him. Keep in mind, Billy Mitchell has sued over a meme. I have point blank called this man a cheater for years and made fun of him endlessly. I am shocked he hasn't tried. But he keeps saying allegedly. Yeah, sometimes. He is still allegedly a cheater, even though the evidence is undoubtable. Irrefutable. But he is still allegedly a cheater. The resub donkey dampest and the bit starry in one six two nine. Didn't that movie Pixels take the piss out of him as well? Yeah, it did. And the regular show. Did you see TMNT? No, I didn't. I've heard good things. Uh, I don't know if I'll watch it in theaters. I might just wait for it to go to streaming at some point. Thanks for you said bombers. Is there more about the alien talk? No, nothing new yet. Nothing new yet. Things the bits mean. 
And the resub crunchy and five gift subs whiff. And the resub Bigfoot. You see Mr. Beast suing his partner for not providing edible food at his food place? Yeah, I saw Mr. Beast is suing the uh, ghost kitchen. So apparently some of the ghost kitchens had fucking terrible quality. I guess we got lucky. <clears throat> Ours here slapped. This was just like really hit or miss. He's a tier one baddie. Lingzy tier one draggled. No, 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 Mr. Beast Burger. He is, he's not suing himself. He's suing the company behind it, alleging that the production wasn't up to the standards they would expect, really. Is a resub profit and the law and blueberry. You think we're going to get some big announcement at Evo this weekend? I hope so. I hope they announce Tekken 8 stealth dropping. Just let it rip. Network test went so well, here's the full game. Thanks, it gives you your boy. There's some booty. Hoping we get a proper name and release date for Project L. That would be cool. That would be nice. There's a prime pepperoni. 